Hey, it's Shelly with Best Buy Canada's blog, and this past week I've been testing out the Tiger and Zoji Rushi water boilers and warmers. This is the Tiger 3 liter water boiler and warmer, and this is the Zoji Rushi 5 liter water boiler and warmer. A water boiler is essentially a electric kettle and you fill it up with water and you set it to boil. The difference between a standard electric kettle and a water boiler like the Tiger water boiler or the Zoji Rushi water boiler is that with this device you can set the accurate temperature for what you'd like your water to be boiled at. So this device, the Tiger water boiler, has four different temperatures, the highest being 208 degrees. To use the Tiger water boiler, I'll you have to do is tap the temperature that you'd like to set it at and it will automatically start heating up your water. It will also keep the keep warm feature on so your water stays hot all day. There's an energy saving button that you can tap to uh, save energy while it's maintaining a um, your hot water and you can also set the timer so if you'd like to set it for the night before to have your water boil before you get up in the morning you can do that too. The Zoji Rushi water boiler and warmer is a 5 liter water boiler and it has three heat settings. So you could just tap this one. It doesn't have an LCD screen like the Tiger does, but it's a very similar device. Uh, you fill up the water reservoir and you can tap the screen on the front to determine which um, level of hot water you'd like. The Zoji Rushi water boiler also has a reboil function, so you can tap that if you'd like the water to reboil again. It also has a delayed boiler, so you can set it um, to delay your boiling time and it will delay for seven hours after you tap the button. Both devices you'll have to have a pitcher of water um, handy. What I did was attempt to fill it up from my water cooler but it's just kind of awkward. It's too, a little bit too big to go underneath my water cooler so I used a pitcher. There is no on off switch so this device will begin working as soon as you plug it in. Once you select the temperature of water that you'd like to boil, then the device will begin working. It um, flashes when it's starting to go through the different temperatures. So I had mine set here for 208 degrees and it took about 15 minutes for the water to boil. It takes the same amount of time for the water to boil if you've used all five liters or even if you just make one cup like I was doing. Once your water has boiled then that's all you have to do and the dispenser will dispense hot water throughout the day. The keep warm feature will keep your water hot and the you can use it for tea, you can use it for oatmeal, you can use it for baby food. Um, anything that you would do with hot water you have on tap now and it's super easy to use. The sides of the device never get hot so you don't have to worry about it overheating on your counter. There's a, a convenient carrying handle and one of the best features is that you have to tap unlock on the top of the boiler so that you can use the hot water. So once you tap unlock um, you have to tap it again to lock it back up but this keeps hot water away from little hands. I've always loved how my fridge will dispense ice and cold water and I've always wondered actually why it, you can't dispense hot water through the fridge too. Well the Zoji Rushi and the Tiger water boilers take care of that. They keep hot water on tap in your kitchen for any reason that you'd want to use it. It would be great for a small office, it'd be great for a home office and it's especially great I believe for any parents who make baby food all the time because you can control the temperature of the water, you can make sure that that it's not scalding and you don't have to wait a really long time to use whatever it is that you've just made. I did test the temperature of the water after the keep warm function had been on the Zoji Rushi water boiler. Um, it was set for 208 degrees so when it did come out I found that it um, dropped in temperature quite a bit. I tried it a few times and the max temperature on my thermometer was approximately 140 degrees. That's still pretty hot but if you really want your water to be 208 degrees at all times you might want to tap the reboil. I thought the Tiger water boiler and the Zoji Rushi water boiler were both great devices. If you've never had hot water on tap in your kitchen this is definitely something you need to try. You can see my full written review at Best Buy Canada's blog. Thanks for watching. Thank you.